Hello and welcome to That's the Point, the place to learn about the best in construction positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer and today I'm here with, well, actually I'm here with myself flying solo today because truthfully this is one of those hot off the presses type episodes and we wanted to get it out into the universe ASAP. So I'm all here by myself. Um, so what's so important uh, that we do an unplanned show? And it's actually this right here. So this is the brand spanking new design for the new bracket for the Trimble T100 tablet. That's right, you asked for it, we asked for it, and Trimble has come through. This is the brand new bracket for the T100. Now, for those of you familiar, this was the original T100 bracket, right? So we've got a, we had a standard mount um, that had the quick release mounted directly to the back of the tablet. Um, and so what we were all asking for was a slightly modified design that would then allow it to maybe cradle around the tablet so it wasn't putting all that stress right on the back plate here. And lo and behold, that is actually what happened. So today we're gonna take a brand new uh, T100 and we're going to install that bracket, this new bracket on top of it. So this is huge. And if you know, you know, this bracket is awesome. Um, if you don't yet have a bracket, no worries. Just reach out to the local building point and they will take care of you. Um, and so now we're gonna walk you through the process of actually installing this new bracket on your T100. So if we look at the bracket itself for a second, um, we have just a couple of a couple pieces to it, right? We have the main one that comes in the box. We also have the four corners and we found that it actually helps to kind of lay these out as you go. So you've got your two cradle pieces here. I've got two cradle pieces that go here. And we've also got this little bag, which has included the quick release tab. So you do have to install this quick release part. Um, and so we will have to attach that. And you're also gonna need a single uh, Phillips head screwdriver to be able to tighten some of these up. So let's get into it and let's put this bracket on this T100. So the first thing that we wanna do is we need to install the quick release tab. So, um, so what we're gonna do is it actually goes inside of this kind of recessed area. Um, and then the screws actually go through and there you can see the countersinking on the other side of this bracket. Um, so that's how you know which way to go. So we're just gonna install these screws real quick in here. So we're gonna put these four screws in and it'll countersink in and make a nice flush connection um, with the bracket. So we're just gonna throw these in. And then we're gonna use the included I don't make the rules. You get this little Allen wrench and we're just gonna tighten this up. Okay, all four of those are snugged up. So we're done with the Allen wrench. These are ready to go. So now I have a bracket. We've got the quick release in here. Now we're actually ready to attach the tablet to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our T100 and I've got it facing down and away. And what we've actually found is that the easiest way to do that is to just start this cradle by doing the bottom ones on their own without trying to attach it to the tablet yet. So we'll just kind of attach these here. And there are some little guides inside of the bottom piece of these cradles that kind of get you roughly in the right spot. And then we can screw it in. And I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and that's what that Phillips head is for. And we're just gonna quickly just tighten those up. Now what we can actually do is now we could just drop the T100 into the cradle. There we go. We know we're generally in the right spot there. And then we're gonna attach these cradle pieces as well. Okay, there's one. Attach this fourth one. And we just take that Phillips head again and tighten that up. And there we go. We now have a completely secure and installed cradle. There is no stress whatsoever on the back plate of this. Um, and so this thing is ready to be mounted um, on your rod and it's ready to head out into the field. So as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local building point representative and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you're notified of the latest tips, tricks, and pointers that we post right here at That's The Point, just like this bracket installation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.